So I'm pretty sure like everyone has seen those prism lens effects ads, whether it's here on YouTube or like on Instagram or something. And I was, I was always like interested in their filters cause they always give like these cool effects, but looking at it, I'm like, you know, I feel like maybe I could use it one time and I'll be like, that's cool and never use it again. So I've been hesitant on actually like buying any of their filters. But one thing I saw was this, it's just a filter tray. And this is the 77 millimeter one. Uh, I was like, you know what? This I can actually get some use out of. So a while back, I picked up the Tilta mini map box. And I like this thing a lot. But one issue that I have with it is that I can't use my variable ND filter with it. And uh, for some projects, when I have the option to, I will decide to rent the rectangular ND filter set instead. But for small projects that I do on my own, that's not always an option. And one thing that I do have is the uh, Bauer uh, variable ND filter. So one issue that I have though with this map box and using the variable ND filter is that this is the ring for mounting the uh, map box to the lens, but I can't screw these on together. There, there's no room here for it. So one thing I have done in the past uh, to kind of combat this issue is to take the 82 millimeter uh, clamp ring on and screw it onto the front of the filter. That way I can at least put the matte box on there. But then I still run into the issue of the matte box not being firmly locked in place. It will still spin around. It won't fall off the camera, of course, but it's not convenient. So um, when I was looking at that Prism Lens Effects site and I found this filter tray, I figured I can use this for more than, than their quirky filters. I can use this for something I'm gonna use all the time like this uh, ND filter. So here's my solution. Screw my filter onto here. And now I can slide that in place. And now I have my variable ND filter on my map box. Uh, for the budget level for like this setup, uh, it works perfectly. Uh, there's no vignetting with the lenses I've tried out so far. I've gone down to uh, 24 millimeter on the Blackmagic. I haven't actually tried anything wider than that uh, with the Sony, so I'm not entirely sure how it will look on full frame yet. I got this, uh, this tray pretty recently. So I love this thing, I'm gonna keep using it, but again, I still recommend renting the uh, filter set if you have the option to. But let's say you're working on a no budget project, you have zero dollars for camera other than the stuff that you already own. If you already have the filter tray, then you can just screw on your variable ND filter there. This might be a unique issue that uh, other people don't really necessarily have. I certainly haven't seen many people talking about the filter tray, but I love it. I'm gonna be using this going forward. This will work perfectly for what I need. This may not be a solution for everyone, but it's a solution for me. And I figure, again, if uh, this can help anyone as it has helped me, uh, definitely recommend picking one up.